Hello and welcome to Motion Time. Today we're gonna make this shape animation in Apple Motion. This video is dedicated to friend Hanky. First thing you need to do is create your shape. I have a rectangle with a size of 150. Then the position is at default 0 0 so it's inside a group with this default settings then the next step you need to do is set the anchor point of your group half of the shapes size because my rectangle is 150 then i will set my anchor point to negative 75 so that it will go at the bottom then the next thing we need to do is around here on the middle let's add a keyframe for the y position around 20 frames then on the second frame around like this then three frames or maybe two frames add a new keyframe and then 20 frames again go back to its original position so we have uh, this Okay, after that, let's group this rectangle. So command shift N, then let's drag that into that group. Let's rename this root group as the rectangle. Now this rectangle, let's adjust the position. Let's set it at the bottom of the composition, something like this. Then if we go to our rectangle group, let's adjust again the position around here. Then let's go to our keyframe editor and then let's adjust our handles. It will move slowly and then fast. The next step is we will animate the scale of our rectangle will animate the x and the y scale around 10 frames something like this we have here so at the initial one let's set the x let's squash it let's set it to maybe 150 and then here on the Y, set it to 50. So it should be equal. Always remember that. Then let's hold that frame there. And around here, let's animate again the X and the Y. Then 10 frames also. Let's try to exaggerate a bit. Just like uh, this. In this case, we need to adjust the X and Y keyframes. Then let's also set our shape back to its normal scale. So around 10 frames also. Then the only thing you need to do is just adjust the handles. Then once you're satisfied with the keyframe, let's also add one more here at this start. Around 10 frames also. So once you're satisfied with everything, let's go to our first frame and take a look. Then the next step is let's just duplicate this, control D. Then inside this one, let's rename our rectangle copy to circle. And then let's turn up our rectangle. Inside this group copy, let's go to our first frame. 
and then C on our keyboard. Okay, and then reset the position of the circle. Then let's duplicate our rectangle group, command D, then change the layer order, put it on top of the circle. Then on this new group, let's rename it as a triangle. Let's turn off our rectangle, go to library, shapes, and triangle. Apply that on that triangle group. Reset the position and then adjust the scale around 50. So let's turn off also the triangle and circle again. And here on the rectangle, go to the rotation. Let's add some keyframe on the Z position. Then here on the rectangle group, let's add a trails filter. So go to filters, time, and trails. Let's trim it around when here. Around here, 25 frames. Then set the echo to around 30 and the duration 2.01. So if we go back to our first frame, okay, we have this. Then on our rectangle shape, remember our rotation. Let's send that or let's do that to our triangle group or our triangle shape. So just click the rotation Z and then drag that to the triangle. Let's turn on our circle and triangle now. Let's make a new group. On this group, let's copy our trails. Okay. And then the next thing is just trimming our shapes. You can fine tune your curves or the keyframes more to suit your needs, but this is how to do this kind of shape animation in Apple Motion.